ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Mercury Farms with me, see what he so in my start from scratch hard economic difficulty let's play series. Um, today is Tuesday, the 18th of June, as I record this video, which means we've just had patch 1.4 released for the game. Um, so, <laughs> um, if anything weird happens in this video, I'm going to be blaming it on that. Um, <laughs> that's basically it. So we had the new patch update. I don't know what it's fixed. As it is often the case with giants, they tend to um, be pretty, pretty bad at um, doing, if, um, you know, proper, um, you know, patch notes so they don't tell you everything they fixed basically right what I am going to have a quick look at maybe is a contract if there's something that we can do quite quick um, probably want a contract that's quite close by And then we'll do 36 or 34 perhaps. 36, and that's corn. Gotta find one I can do. Have a look. Fifteen could do. Field one. That's not going to take very long. I'm going to accept field fifteen. Right. I'm going to want my harvester then. Do, 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 I want to test to see if they fix that issue with the um, contract screen. You know, with the uh, missing crops and all that business. So where is field 15? Right down here on the roadside, opposite the spa. Okie dokie. Now I do believe the traffic might be turned off at this point in time. Which is a good thing. The reason for that is they kept crashing into me as I was doing me um, me, me forage harvesting so I'll turn them back on at some point it just means I haven't got to faff about with the um, header on this um, particular particular mower but yes we've got um, um update 1.4 released today we've also had updates for the Homer DLC and the Anderson DLC so make sure you've got those downloaded the Homer DLC wasn't an issue for me. Steam automatically downloaded it. Um, the Anderson DLC, I've had to go to Giant's website and download the update from there because I didn't buy it through Steam. I bought it through Giant's. And so that's done and available. There are a couple of things I've already noticed when loading up the, um, the game. There's a couple of new sort of errors and stuff being generated in the log file and I don't know whether that's due to issues with mods or whether it's due to issues with the patch or some things they've changed um, I'm not too sure about that until I investigate further um, also one of the things I have noticed I set up my um, multiplayer server I moved it onto a Nitrado um, hosted server online I got that set up 
I've got it installed and everything but when I start the server can't see it and join it in game not sure why that is but I had this issue when I played Ark when I had um, Ark and I had a server hosted on Nitrado for Ark I had the same problem no one could ever see the server and join it which is really bad when you're paying a company a lot of money to host your your, your server so um, got to figure that one out it might be because of patch 1.4 I know at this moment in time when I log into my um, web interface, my account on my Trado, the server is only 1.3. I can't update it to 1.4. Um, don't know when there will be a fix for that. If there will be a fix for that. Um, how quickly, I don't know how quick Nitrado tends to get server updates and stuff. patch updates I can still launch the server from um, the game if I go into multiplayer create game and I host it on my machine I can still start the server that's not a problem and it, it kind of runs although there are a few errors now in the log file referring to the um, um, what do you call it map um, Don Diego map, so I don't know whether I need a map update. I hope not. <laughs> it's the trouble when they release patches, it tends to break mods. And I'm a bit concerned because obviously I use a lot of mods. I've got the mod pack, the mod pack can be downloaded. There is a link for that. Thank my trader puts that all together for you so you can download the mod pack. So I'll get that link posted. It will be in the Discord. And that's a shameless me plug for the Discord. You, you will notice on the channel there should be some links now to my Discord um, appearing. There should be one on the top when you go log on to the main sort of channel page. Um, there should be one up there along with the links to my other social medias. Twitters, Facebook, Patreon, etc. Twitch. Um, and also on a couple of the recent videos I've put the um, discord server link in the description and I've even pinned it as a comment on one or two videos um, yeah I'm hoping to get that Don Diego server up and running and people playing very very soon in fact by the time this video goes live on the channel we'll probably already be playing I want to see, like I say, I want to see if they've made any fixes or changes to the contracting screen. And my guess is they won't have. <laughs> because, you know, it's only a problem that's been in the game for what? It's now, what, June? So, March, April, May, four months <laughs> since their last patch. need to bring down one of the workers in a minute to bring me a trailer <laughs> plenty of fertilizer sold set up a course I've set up a course play course to do that so Helgi or Dolores can actually be selling um, fertilizer for me when I have a lot of it in my um, you know in my possession <laughs> so 
I think I did I did three deliveries of fertilizer fertilizer to the garden center off camera. Hence why I've got quite a nice sum of money now in my collection. I've actually also bought a new piece of equipment that I've not shown you yet. It's waiting for me at the store. I really wanted to get in and do a contract quick whilst we've got the, uh, you know, weather on our side and it's not raining. Nearly done. Can't remember where I said the canola was, was supposed to be delivered. Uh, garden centre. Okay. You know what? I don't even need a truck, do I? Really? Bring the truck trailer. I can take the um, harvester up there. Set this away. Remember how to get out the field. Top corner. Right, I can get out here. garden centre will unload the canola see if it still says you know missing crop and all that jazz still I can also check for something else on the contract screen as well in a minute see if they have actually done any fixes Don't tell me whether the contract is complete. You'll also notice I've been playing around with the HUD Smart Shade real time clock and contractor mod to make sure I've got all the icons now in that background thing. Right, let's have a look, shall we? No missing crops. Very nice. Right, fertilise it. No, it still says lease equipment. So, no, they haven't changed that. Boo, Giants, boo. You shouldn't be paying a lease fee to borrow a farmer's equipment. Shouldn't be paying any kind of lease fee borrowing equipment do because you because you can't use the, the equipment on any other fields you can only use it on that one field on that one job so paying a lease fee for that is just not worth it 
when you originally leased equipment from the store you could use it on their multiple contracts stutter a little bit of lag probably need to delete the shader catch now we've had a new update we'll bring this back down here my lovely little harvester my rostal smasher um, I have made another change as well off camera um, full disclosure obviously I got rid of the rostal smasher forage harvester um, and I've replaced it with the crone the rostal, the rostal smasher is just too small and it lacked power and I basically I was struggling to get up that field <laughs> Pulling the trailer behind me, I was struggling to get up the field. Right, um, got a lot of chaff in here, which I've been leveling out with my um, lovely tools. Oh, hello! <laughs> I have not seen that before. Two people in cab. And he's next to me. That is awesome. One advantage, I suppose, of using vanilla vehicles and not modded ones. You do get passengers in your uh, tractor. Oh, wicked. There's Dolores. She stood there. Right. That reminds me as well. There is a piece of equipment I need to return. <laughs> I tried to tip some stuff in here um, using the forage harvester rather than having it with the trailer on the big M, the crone. Just unload here and instead I forgot how far it ejects from the pipe. So it kind of sprayed stuff all over the ground. And of course I don't have a forage wagon so. Um, I was a little bit unfortunate there. We've got the uh, right. I'm back out. Anyway, that's making some fertilizer for me. Right, I'm gonna go down to the store, grab my new piece of equipment, and we'll probably make use of that. I'm gonna super. Oh, I'm gonna turn the traffic back on. Whilst I remember. So you can see I did some forage mowing around my field just to get a bit of extra chaff and stuff. Right, let's have a look. Right, that's there. Good. Right, I wanted another piece of equipment from Dolores here. Thank you, Dolores. Um, Have it with the blacks. There we go. Big tanker. I was also thinking of getting myself a
that could come in useful. Big bag lifter with three point linkage. Because I think I've got some extra big bags now. Chicken food, chicken food, chicken food. I'm sure these have been changed by something. Another mod fiddling. Right, anyway, we'll get the um we'll get the truck. So I've got a proper truck now, which will have plenty of power on it. And we've got a proper tanker, so we can get a lot of liquid stuff. A lot of water picked up. Let's fill up from here. It does fill up nicely. It's going to fill up very slowly. Hundred thousand liters of liquid. Boom, boom, boom. Two war runs, that's not a problem. Wait for the cars to disappear. Off we go and back to the main farm. Basically, what I'm going to do is going to chuck this in the lime maker, test the production mods, make sure they're not broken by patch 1.4. Apparently Doug is still standing there. It's not quite true, Doug. Drive down the back here and we should get an option to unload. Should go in there quite nicely. A 
and it should tick over and uh, That'll be making some nice fertiliser for me. Uh, lime, so I should I say. In which case, we'll see. Um, move that out of the way. That was making... That was delivering... Dolores was delivering the digestate. Uh, from my BGA, I think. That's all of it. I'll double check. Yeah, we haven't got any more. Park this truck in here, out of the way. Right, Helgi, my man. Come and grab some of this here lime for me. And what we'll do is we'll have a quick run down to the down to the garden centre and get rid of this. Takes a long while to fill. Another thing I'm going to quickly do is go in here to control the keybinds, gamepad controls, where's hazard lights? Hazard Lights was remapped to that right next song. That'll do. So now I should be able to put my Hazard Lights on. Excellent! as well as my beacons. See, why can't you do that on consoles? Why can't you translate your rebind controls on consoles? We'll take this line down to the garden centre. This tractor is not the powerfulest thing in the world. It should be. It should be able to handle this trailer. Because I mean that 
stage now we've got everything seeded and planted we've just got to wait for the, the crops to grow and I'm going to wait for like the weeds because we're going to have to do some weed spraying no doubt on all the fields they're not going to be as accessible but I've got some herbicide I haven't got anywhere making herbicide so I have to go and buy it from the store I mean, we don't get paid a lot for lime. Lime is not that expensive. But it doesn't cost us anything to make it. So... With a, with a bit of time... 64 grand, see? That's not bad. It's not bad. Like I say, it didn't cost me anything to make the lime, just time. Just running down, getting the water, bringing it back to the, um, bringing it back to the place, and then, uh, back to the place. Right, I'm thinking of getting one of them bag lifters because obviously I could feed the chickens then with the bags of big bags of uh, wheat and that would give that JCB something else to do and I've got the bucket for cleaning up in front of the animal pens right, oh, we've got weeds weeds are appearing in a little while I might just park this tractor here for the time being because I believe there is some pig food and stuff in here I'll take Helgi out of there yeah I've got 82,000 litres and I've got quite a bit of diesel in there too right uh, we'll stay here uh, so Dolores hasn't had much chance to do much so she can go get the weeder quickly probably I'm going to be paying her overtime money now We'll just drop that off there for the time being.
Moment. <laughs> Get out and fold it. <clears throat> Get rid of the weeds. And Dolores is quite happy. Don't know what profile I've got enabled on my um doodle. Let's get a screenshot of that. This is probably wasting a lot of fertilizer. Herbicide, shall I say? Because we're spraying an area which doesn't have weeds on it. Put some headlights on. Night time is falling here on Mercury Falls. Sun is setting. Should get to see the new nighttime lighting changes because that was one of the things they've changed on PC in patch 1.4. Should transition a bit better between night and day. Turn around, we'll probably have one bit to do on that other field. I think that's my crop growing in. 
don't think that's weeds. I think that's my uh, canola. <laughs> it just has suddenly appeared. Bit of nighttime spraying, can't fault it. Genuine. Along the bottom edge of the field. Like I say, I will expand this field out next time I have to uh, plough it. I've got the cultivator create field mod enabled now. <laughs> I haven't got it uh, installed on this profile, which is why I couldn't create fields using my cultivators previously. Hire a worker. Let the worker finish off the rest of the. Uh, the field. Dolores can get on with that. I will probably then have to go and do. Yeah, those three fields as well. So we will have that done. Animals are all okay for the time being. They're not needing anything. So, uh, yeah, gonna be uh, letting Dolores carry on. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of the Mercury Farms Start From Scratch Hard Economic Difficulty Let's Play series. If you have enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click that like button for me. If you're not currently doing so, please go and click that subscribe button as well. If you've got any comments, questions, suggestions or feedback, or anything at all you wish to say, please feel free to drop it in the comments section down below. Also feel free to share this video wherever you see fit, with whomever you see fit. I've been C1ESO, but for now, from me, it's goodbye. <laughs>